Okay, so here is another video um, which shows an early uh, work in the progress for some of the improvements and the updates on the book. Um, so what I did, I included some pictures for every chapter cover um, and I added also some of the materials for those chapters. So we start with the preface of the book and on the preface we see a picture of an iPad mini captured on a lateral Ceph arm. So I thought this would be an inspirational picture for the introduction of the book. Um, and as I swipe it through, I can go to different pages within um, that chapter. If I zoom out, then I go to the chapter listing. And to move it through chapters, I just swipe sideways. And here we see the radiation physics. So we're showing a picture of the Large Hydrant Collider in CERN in Switzerland. So this would be a nice picture for the radiation physics. Um, this is what they discovered, the X boson particle. And I move forward to radiation biology. This is a picture showing the human genome. And then we move on to radiation protection. As you can see, we don't have the content right now, but um, hopefully we will add it later. Um, digital imaging, same story. And then we move to the dental x-ray foam. And here is um, basically the chapter that shows um, some of the sections here. And if I type on this, basically it brings up the page with um, some description here. So these are some foam packets from the um, Kirstream Dental Insight, um, formerly Kodak. Um, and as I swipe it through, I get an introduction. And then I have a size 2 foam packet. And if I... Um, use pinch in, I mean I can bring it to full screen, pinch out, bring it back to normal size. Then we start with dental film composition and again you can do the same thing um, and then you swipe out. Um, keep going, we go to components of the foam, so we go over the base, adhesive layer, the emulsion. This is a scanning electron microscope of the silver halide crystals and this has been colored in Photoshop um, showing the tabular crystals. Um, this is from Kirstream Dental. And then we keep moving forward. We see different types of intraoral films. Um, if I basically bring this to full screen, I can see components of a dental film packet. So we have the paper wrap, um, lead foil, um, outer packet wrap. And we have a size. Um, basically a side-by-side -side comparison between a single packet film and a double packet or double films packet showing two films side by side um, and this is a gallery so you can bring it up to full screen we have um, basically single film double film um, another basically unfolded layout of the components of a dental film packet the size 4 film front and back um, and you can also do in a spot gallery so you can um, just keep going sideways as you can see those three dots representing the gallery what the gallery can be used for is uh, for example for like uh, teaching cases so if we have a case of let's say um, a pathology we can have um, an intraoral picture of the clinical findings inside the mouth and then associated with uh, PA panoramic radiographs so the dental student have basically the clinical um, findings associated with the radiographic findings and I think this would be the awesome way to present um, cases in the book and um, as I go forward I can see like I have a, a layout here I have not used so this is like the default um, image placeholder same thing for extra oral forms some of, some of these sections have not been completed yet so hopefully we can um, finish them and, and, and move forward. As you can see, like I can swipe below and I can see all the um, different pages within the chapter. You can also tap here and, and you will be taken to that corresponding section. Film processing, so just an example of how the chapter will look like. So I can tap here and it gives me an introduction to the chapter. We have the chemicals, the developer and the fixer. Same story, you can bring them up up to full screen and you can still like zoom in you know and the image is gorgeous I mean you can see all the details you know the chemical um, components and, and stuff 
Um, I mean, if you think about it in a traditional textbook, you can't really do that. I mean, um, we preserve the color, we preserve the resolution. Um, so this is one of the benefits of the iPad. And again, we have different sections. And I swipe forward, we go to the intraoral imaging technique. Um, moving forward to normal anatomy. So we talk about like different anatomical structures here. Um, keep going forward, we, to, we talk about tooth anatomy and supporting structures. Um, same story here. I, t I double tap and um, or I can actually um, either bring it up with the two fingers or I can keep um, using the arrows and it will take me to all the different landmarks and it gives me the name plus how it appears radiographically. Um, just a couple examples I guess. Um, another module that can be created which is an image overlay pop-up or the uh, pop-up image so for example you can kind of like provide a zoomed in view of a structure so here if we have a skull for example we can have an associated radiograph so here for example the maxillary sinus you have the skull showing the student where the structure is located then as you tap here you get the radiograph um, plus the description and what I will do is I will add arrows to basically pinpoint or highlight the boundaries of that structure because I still think some students will miss that. I mean, we know it by default, but I don't think the students really know that. Um, so just an example of how things can be used. You can also highlight stuff, so you can change the color. So for example, students can, can do that for their notes. Um, and then you can basically provide some question here or something like that. And these can be used as a flip cards um, by the students to, to study. Um, keep going forward. Um, so all these sections or chapters have yet to be completed. Um, so this is just to provide a nice visual way of appreciating the final outlook of the book. We worked a little bit on the extra oral imaging technique chapter. So we had uh, one dental hygiene student as a model in the book, so she helped us um, acquire some images showing how to position the patient. So here we have a water's view. We talk about extra oral projections, what machines can be used for that. The lateral CEF, um, so the same thing we did with the interactive image. So all these different anatomical landmarks are basically um, laid out and as you tap on each one, it provides you with um, some short description of what that structure means or, or the significance of that. Um, so, um, and here, here's an example of our student model. So showing how basically the patient should be positioned. Um, and if you swipe it through, you get the corresponding radiograph. Um, and then you can also bring it up to full screen. Um, and keep going forward, reverse down projection, SMV projection, um, mandibular oblique projection, all these other projections are here. Um, keep going forward, infection control, I've shown you that before. Um, special needs patient, CBCT imaging, and here would be the last chapter right now, which would be the legal issues of radiographic imaging in the United States. And um, let me tap on it. So this talks about some of the um, necessary things that um, the dental care provider need to do for like example record keeping, HIPAA and other stuff. Um, so um, something like consent and agreement, um, keeping, um, making sure that you know you have all of your x-ray equipment registered and um, the paperwork up to date, um, radiographic interpretation, you basically should be able to to read all the images, making sure that you don't miss anything because you're liable for that. And um, just another example here, and you can still zoom in and you can appreciate the high quality here. Um, and then at the end of the chapter, you're taking um, to the quiz module, and I've shown you that before, so you can have different examples and questions, and it gives you some feedback. Uh, thank you for watching.